We have arrived finally at well 51. It took us around about 23 days and it took canning over two years to complete. A mammoth engineering effort in anyone's terms. Yet between 1911 and 1931, just 12 mobs of cattle were driven through this region and multiple lives of drovers and natives were lost. Was it all worth it? Well, that's up to you as you trek as a modern day adventurer on the mighty Canning Stock Route. But folks, we're just gonna air up our tires because we've got one more little adventure up our sleeves. The road from here gets a lot more solid, so we're moving from our sand driving pressures up to our dirt road pressures in our Pirellis. I've chosen to stick to a shade under 30 PSI for this part of the leg. We're on the home stretch now and nearly to the icing on our canning cake. Get a load of this. Not a bad surprise, hey? This, my friends, is the Wolf Creek Meteorite Crater. Around 300,000 years ago, a dirty big rock travelling at 15 kilometres per second hit the earth right here. As you can see, it made one hell of a hole. The crater measures 850 metres wide, but there's not much left of the meteorite as most of it vaporised on impact. However, some fragments have been found up to four kilometres away. The main rocks of the crater are quartzite with a capping of laterite. Shale balls, which look like rusty balls of rock, can also be found in the area. It's a steep and rocky climb down into the crater, and there are plenty of loose rocks, so watch your footing. All in all, though, this is one spot that can't be missed. 